But when you begin to believe that you are blessed, that which is in the spirit will come to the physical. Hallelujah. So now tell somebody you are blessed. You are blessed. Hallelujah. Amen. And I say to God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we now the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 The word of God is wiser than our mind. It is wiser than our imagination. Hallelujah. Amen. God did not tell us to follow our own imagination. At all. He said that we should trust in the Lord. We shouldn't lean unto our own understanding. Hallelujah. How many of us will agree with me that God knows more than me? That God knows more than you too. Glory be to God. So when we follow the one that knows more, we will arrive at our destination. Hallelujah. I know by the grace of God you will get there. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Very soon people will hear your testimony. In the name of Jesus. You see, God is a great God. If you sit down and make yourself comfortable and open your ears, you will get something to me. Hallelujah. You see, in the world. And I will give you a glory. You see, Jesus Christ came back, resurrected. So the door we had closed, the disciples were afraid of the Jews. They shut all the doors in the place that they were living in. All of a sudden, Sunday, my Lord entered in. Hallelujah. Amen. Give me unto you. That is the nature of our God. There are things that our God will always say. Peace. Don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Amen. Only believe. These are things that He always says. Hallelujah. Why? Because when the Lord is involved, the situation may be fearful. Then my God will say, Don't be afraid. There are some of us, the men would have given us reports. Hallelujah. Well, that is, according to man's ability, is no longer possible. You understand know I me? Mean? Then God will come in. According to God's ability, everything is possible. Yes. That is why when Jesus will come, he will say, don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So at this particular time, they didn't know that he is alive. Some of them are still doubting it. So he came inside. He said, not that for you not to doubt. Seeing that most of us must see before we believe. He said, look at the wound on my hand. He said, you look at my side. It is really me. Hallelujah. Amen. So he spoke with them. He prayed for them. So he left. Then Thomas was not there on that day. So they told Thomas, the master has risen. Thomas said, Ah, maybe Thomas would have gone to the house that Jesus used to stay. Maybe would have found Martha and Mary. Even as Lazarus. Then Jesus Christ came to the house to eat. They say he was already. They say, Ah, no, we didn't see him. Hallelujah. Ah. Thomas said, for you, you can believe that one, but for me, I don't believe. Why? Because I have not seen it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, why do we are still in that place after about eight days? The Lord entered. Hallelujah. He entered, even though the door was shut, he entered inside. So he said, Thomas, Jesus was not there when Thomas said that. Hallelujah. But the Lord hears everything. That is why when we pray, the Lord hears us. That is why when we pray, miracles happen. Glory be to God. Why? The Lord hears us. He not only hears us, He sees what is inside our heart. Glory be to God. Even as he's here right now, he is just waiting to confirm his word. 
Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Our God is so powerful. Yes, Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So, when Thomas now saw him, so it means it's true. Yes, it is true. Jesus Christ said, Well, you can touch me now. You can touch my hand. You can put your hand on my side. Ah, Thomas said, My Lord and my God. He said, ah, 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 ah. He said, because you have not seen me, he said, you have believed. He said, blessed are they that have not seen, but yet believe. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God is not telling you to believe what does not exist. No. He didn't tell you to believe because Jesus was not resurrected because he was not existing. Because he was resurrected and he's existing. And he's living very, very well. Hallelujah. It is truly a ready and is the Lord of all. Glory to God. It is not a dead God, it is a living God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody says that a living dog is better than a dead lion. You understand me? But Jesus is a living God. He is not a dead God. Because a dead God cannot do miracles. A dead God cannot confirm his word. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you not happy that the Lord will even confirm his word yet? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 So my Lord will always say, only believe. Just believe that's what you need. You see, Jairus came to call Jesus. In the book of Mark chapter 5. So as he was going, there was a woman that was very smart. Because of the smartness of that woman, what she did is still being said again and again. We'll be in Vienna on Thursday, we'll still hear about that woman. The woman that used to have the issue of blood, that miraculously received a healing on the way. Jesus was going to the house of Jairus. Hallelujah. Amen. You hear the testimony of Brother Constantine. He said, I claim it for myself. Hallelujah. Yeah. The only thing he didn't tell us is when he's going to bring the Google. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> How many people get there on that day when we said that the person that this will happen to, you should buy Google? <laughs> How many was there? Just, it looks like you get there. So, you know, in week services, many people don't come. So I didn't expect to see very many hands because the Lord gave us that word of knowledge that somebody is getting a miraculous financial breakthrough. And by the grace of God, we have now seen that one. We did all the glory. Hallelujah. 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 It was even on the week services. The church is beautiful. God beautified the life of the one that did this one. It was also on the wisdom that God was let us know that somebody wanted to provide something for the church. How, we, how many of us were here on that day? So very few hands too. The person said that while I sat down, the Lord was just putting it on my hand. You know, at the end of the meeting, when I was sitting down, that the Lord is telling me this. So we thank God we have beautiful countries. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If that God cannot do that, it is only the living God that can do that. If I will be you, I will serve you. Yes. Why? Because whether we know it or we don't know it, whether we like it or not, the Bible says, all, oh, not some, are going to appear before the judgment seat of Christ. And it is appointed unto man to die but once after that judgment. Oh, I don't believe. Thank you for not believing. But when you get there, you will believe. Oh, I believe. Thank you for believing. When you get there, you will believe. Hallelujah. The Lord cannot be paying our rent. Hallelujah. There used to be times when we were having challenges. God did miracles. But today, God has helped us. We are paying rent. That is to let you know. And our wife probably will know this also very well. My wife will know this for sure. Do you understand that it is the Lord that has given us a place where we can come together to worship Him? If it is not because of His love and care, would He have cared? 
I am not the one paying the rent of the church. The Lord is the one paying. Of course, you give your offering, you give your time. That's why it's expected of you. The Lord is also blessing people who does that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. There used to be time where we give and uh, all that. Money was just not enough. But you see that when we wanted to use our brain to turn that we are smart enough, the Lord intervened. Somebody paid money into the account miraculously. And that was just enough money to pay the rent for that time. We were thinking of giving one side out. Because the Lord didn't want us to do that. Our brain we are thinking how we're going to do that. You know, to, to keep on paying the rent. But ever since, paying of the rent has never been a problem. Glory to God. Ever since, a lot will make sure that we have the rent when the rent is needed to pay. And I might have known sometimes when the landlord will lay us downstairs there. He said he was embarrassed. He will not come to meet you. But he will sometimes meet me downstairs. But ever since the Lord intervened, we give God all the glory and he will intervene in your life. Continuously in the name of Jesus. Do you see why the Lord will tell us not? So they are afraid, only believe because they have the capability to do which was making us to be afraid, to turn it around. So they said to Jairus, they said that your daughter is already dead. Don't worry, the teacher again. When he was sick, it was okay. The man is dead. Tell him to go home. He has some other business. When Jesus Christ heard that one, he said, don't be afraid. He said, only believe. For a lot of us, death is the end. But for Jesus, he is still not the end. Glory be to God. There are some people, they just raise the dead. Hallelujah. Actually, it is our ministry. That's what God tells us to do. You understand me? But none of us have already gone to get somebody die. And at the end of the day, you say this person is dying, you say, don't worry, he is only sleeping. Hallelujah. The only thing is that when you say, man, that he is dead, how many of us are going to have, uh, attend the wedding? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory be to God, the devil, sorry, the devil. Do you understand? There is nothing that is too hard for God. But by the special grace of God, if we stand up ourselves to believe what the word of God says, you know, we will raise the dead. Is there somebody here that will raise the dead? Yes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. In the eyes of men, it's a big thing. In the eyes of God, no. The Bible says that the believing ones, the one that believes, say they shall speak with new tongues. How many of us are speaking with new tongues? Hallelujah. He said we shall cast out devils. How many are casting out devils? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let me see this one. How many are raising the dead? It is a part of the package. Glory to God. Raising the dead is a part of the package. In the, in the eye of heaven, in the eye of God, eh, it is not much difficult for God to give life to the dead. The Bible says he quickened the dead. It is not more difficult for him than to heal the dead. He is not the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So they said that the daughter of Jairus was dead. What did Jesus Christ say? He said, only believe. Hallelujah. Beloved brethren, we need to believe. And when you believe, you will still see the glory of God. Let's laugh for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Actually, when I ask that uh, somebody should buy Google, I just ask that one because when the Lord gives one of knowledge like that, it will come to pass. I actually ask you because you cannot even buy Google here. How many of you can buy Google here? I just ask that one so that when that happens, we want to hear the testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we thank God that we have heard the testimony. Amen. The one of comfort is not the final one. Hallelujah. Amen. He is there shall die. He is there shall die. Yes. Your own will come. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Your financial miracle will come. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, when we speak, 
As I am here, hallelujah, I am an ambassador. Glory be to God. I am representing the God of heaven. The Bible says that we are ambassador for Christ. When you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, you think about the natural embassy, you say you want to go to so so and so country, the ambassador says you are not going, I will not give you a visa. Unless you go and enter in illegal. Do you understand what I mean? The ambassador can say, I give to you, or I don't give to you. You understand what I mean? As the ambassador of Christ, glory be to God, whatever we buy on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we lose on earth is lost in heaven. Glory be to God. I can still remember a little bit now, one of the services, it was just said that I saw about three people were giving documents or something like that. Within one week it was said, there was no plan of anybody getting anything. So one time when one of my brothers were calling me in my work, they say his body was shaking. He was praying, Lord, don't let the world be passed for the ground. It's not my work. <laughs> but thank God, in that week, at least three people. Hallelujah. Don't give it to me. Hallelujah. One God, one God, one God. Hallelujah. Another one God, another document, another one God, whether visa or the about. This was whether last year or last two years. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Why? Because God is a great God, He's a powerful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. There is nothing God cannot do. That is why heaven expects us to believe. There are sometimes God has already prepared that. He just put it in our heart so that we speak it out. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Your visa shall come. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The, one of the reasons why we want to quickly do our thanksgiving, amen, we want to do the thanksgiving because we don't want to thank him. Because we have been thanking him because he did something. Hallelujah. But we want to, he has done so much for us. Okay? We are not want we don't want to thank him because he is doing it for us. We want to thank him for who he is. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So after after the Thanksgiving, miracles can continue. Hallelujah. But I know what to call now. They say you want to thank what are you thanking for? Oh, he gave me this. No. I want to be the one he has done, I have not been able to thank him enough. Do you understand what I mean? So let us thank him. And as we thank him, I know that the gate of heaven shall be open again. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. This house is not closed already. It is still coming. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. It is still coming. Our eyes is going to see. Yeah. It is still coming. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. It is still coming. Yeah. Hallelujah. Positive is still coming. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. It will come. Hallelujah. When you serve God with all of your heart, the Lord will keep you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Amen. Amen. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Amen. For the fact that you have not seen it does not mean that it does not exist. Let us turn our Bible to Exodus. Or let us start from Revelation chapter number 11. After that, we we'll go to Exodus. Revelation chapter of my level, verse number 19. Revelation 11, 19. Hallelujah. Please, we want to see Revelation level 19. So let us stand up in the name of Jesus as we read the word of God. Revelation 11, 19. The Bible says, and the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament. There were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail. Let us take it again. And the temple of God was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his testament, and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and a great hail. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for your word. 
in Jesus' name. Amen. You can be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where was the temple of God opened? The temple of God was opened in heaven. Hallelujah. And in the temple of God, there was seen the ark of the covenant. There were thunders, there were lightning, there were voices. So people are living in heaven. Hallelujah. They can help people who be living in heaven, there is no voices. Hallelujah. You say, I can't see heaven, where can you see Nigeria? <laughs> Hallelujah. So if you don't believe people are living in heaven, people are not living in Nigeria. You can as well believe, not believe that people are living in Nigeria. Why? Because you cannot see Nigeria. Hallelujah. Okay, because you are from Nigeria, you can picture your house. All right, all right. Okay, people are not living in Haiti. Okay, because of earthquake. What is a, a lot of big places you have not even heard about, then yet people are living in there. Glory be to God. For the fact that you think that they are not living, does not mean that they are not living just because you are, you know, our prayer is. Hallelujah. Then we thank God. There are people. So in heaven, there was the ark of God. And that ark is called the ark of the covenant. Testament is covenant in another way. Hallelujah. So in Exodus chapter number 25, verse 40. Exodus chapter number 25, verse 40. The Bible says, and look that thou make them after their pattern which was shown thee in the mouth. And look that thou make them after their pattern which was shown thee in the mouth. Hallelujah. Amen. God took Moses on the mountain and showed him a pattern of the temple of God in heaven. You see, that was the temple that was opened in heaven. And he showed him how he's going to make the ark. Why? Because God wants to come down. Hallelujah. Now meet with his people. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. 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 So God wanted what was in heaven to come to earth. Why? God wants to bless his people. Glory be to God. So now Moses made the tabernacle, which is the temple. The Bible said that you are the temple of the Holy Ghost. You are the tabernacle of the Holy Ghost. So tabernacle and temple is the same place of worship for God. So there was a temple in heaven and there is a temple in heaven. And you hear in that one. And God said to Moses, you make it exactly the way I showed it to you. And the Bible said that the ark of God was seen in the temple. So the physical ark that we are going with the children of Israel is a pattern of the original that was in heaven. So what is in the temple that God commanded Moses to build? In that temple there is the altar court. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 There is the holy place and there is the holies of holies. And inside that holies of holies, that's where the ark of the covenant is. Hallelujah. Amen. And that ark of the covenant, there is a very big cutting that separates that place, the holies of holies, or the holiest of all, from the holy place. That holy place where priests can enter there every day. They perform their priestly duties. Then after the day, which is not the inner court, where the Ark of the Covenant is the Ark of the Testament, no man can enter there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Except once in a year, and it is only the high priest that is permitted to enter there. When the high priest is going to enter there, there needs to be wonderful preparation. Glory to God. Once in a year, the high priest is permitted to enter there, but not without blood. Do you understand me? Not without blood. When he is going, he will first of all, you know, he will have to sanctify himself, purify himself, and purify the people. 
and at the end of the day he will enter. If there is sin on the way, the high priest can go in and not come out. And when the high priest go and does not come out, there is no point that is good enough to say, ah, what is the high priest doing? Go and look, he is low. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Amen. But there is something that we must understand. What is here, the sin of the people are atoned for. Glory be to God. Let us turn our Bible to Hebrews chapter number 9. Verse 22. Hebrew chapter number 9, verse number 22. The Bible says in Hebrew chapter number 9, verse 22, it says, And almost all things are by the law, purged with blood, and without shedding of blood is no remission. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, Almost all things by the law are purged with blood. He said, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. For there to be any remission of sin, glory to God, that sin is wiped out, that there is forgiveness of sin, there has to be shedding of blood. Why? Somebody must die. Otherwise, the word of God is broken. Because the Bible says that the soul that sinners shall die. That's the word of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So, God, in order for such a person to die because of his sin, God permitted for a substitute, even in the world today. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. There are some cut of law. There are some things that somebody may have done. At the end of the day, you know, that's why you have trust substitute. Hallelujah. So, in that case, because it is not the plan of God for people to just die and go to hell and that he made for a substitute. So, in the law, it was the blood of the animals. Once in a year, the high priest carried before God. Hallelujah. It looks like the people that committed the sin, this is their blood, they are dying. Why? Because there is life in the blood. Hallelujah. So that was the people. And at the end of the day, because it was the blood of animal, it was only good for one year. Hallelujah. And the Bible says that by the law, in the law, it said almost everything they are purified by blood. Why? After that blood had been made, the day of atonement, at the end of the day, you are free from your sin. Do you understand? So that was the way it was in the physical tabernacle, in the earthly tabernacle that God made Moses to rear up in the wilderness. Glory be to God. But remember, it is the type of the original in heaven. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So let us go to level at 12. Nine, Hebrews 9, 11 and 12. He said that Christ being come and high priest of a good things to come by a greater and perfect tabernacle not made with hands. That is to say, not of this building, neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood. He entered in once into the holy place and he obtained eternal redemption for us. Hallelujah. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Hallelujah. So, every year the high priest we go appear before the Ark of the Covenant. It will make atonement with the blood of bulls and goats for the people. Hallelujah. It is the type of what is in the heaven. Otherwise, the people can go to war and lose. Otherwise, the people can plant and not reap harvest because they are sin. Because their God cannot dwell in sin and cannot be with them. So it was necessary for them to do that. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Otherwise, the enemy will take advantage of them. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Now, when Christ Jesus came, 
he did not need them to go to the earthly tabernacle. Hallelujah. So he did not need them the blood of goat and bull. But what did he do? He offered to God on our behalf a perfect sacrifice. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He offered his blood to God. When he, the Bible says, have he obtained eternal redemption for us? When you remember when Martha Mary saw him on the day when he was resurrected, he was happy, he wanted to touch him, say, no, don't touch me already. He said, because I have yet not ascended to my father, your father, to my God and your God. Because when Jesus Christ resurrected, he carried his blood as a merciful high priest on our behalf. He entered into the holies of holies. Can you see that the Bible said that the temple of God was open? That's where, that temple, that's where Jesus entered. To bear the very act of God is, he did not enter with the blood of animals, but he entered with his own blood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Where did I get to the mercy seat? He offered his blood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And now, because he has not offered his blood, God now has certain that the claim of justice is satisfied. Glory to God. That is why Satan will not have power over you. In the name of Jesus. Because the dominion that Adam gave to Satan, Christ gave it to us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Bible says that Jesus Christ by death destroyed him that had the power of death. So, sickness will not kill us. In the name of Jesus. Disease will not kill us. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. So, Satan used to have authority because he stole it from Adam. But now, we are the one where we understand that now have the authority because Jesus took that authority from him. He didn't take it from himself. He gave it to us. Hallelujah. He entered into the holy place. Oh, the Bible says it wonderfully. He said, you now come. Let us come boldly into the throne of grace. That we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Let's laugh for Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we not pray, 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 pray. Permit me to call the title of this message the divine exchange. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It is actually a divine exchange. Jesus Christ gave his life for us. Hallelujah. He became everything. He became sick with our sickness that we might have head. Hallelujah. He became, he became poor that we might be rich. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He has changed and he gave us his path and he took our path. Father, we give you all the glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, Hebrews chapter number 10, verse number 14. Hebrews number 10, verse 14. He said, For by the offering, he said, for by one offering he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. By one offering he had perfected forever them that are sanctified. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He does not need them to. The average we go every day. He didn't need them to. One was okay. The reason why the high priest was go, we go again and again because it was not a perfect. They said that if it's not original, it can't be like original. <laughs> Hallelujah. So the tabernacle, God accepted that one. It was a physical one. But the one that Jesus Christ entered is a spiritual one. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He entered in once and for all. Hallelujah. And with that one sacrifice, he perfected forever. Then that are sanctified. What does sanctification mean? It means to be set apart for God. How many of us are set apart for God? Glory be to God. How many of us are the children of the Most High God? Hallelujah. He said, with one offering, he said, he perfected forever. Hallelujah. The offering that Jesus Christ made for us is a perfect one. Hallelujah. 
So sanctification means touch not. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Because we are holy before God. We are set apart before God. Hallelujah. So Satan has no power now to afflict us. Satan has no power now to dwell in us. Do you understand what I mean? Because Jesus Christ has set us free. Jesus Christ has shed his blood. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Christ has broken the authority and the power of the devil over our lives. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And this is what he has done. Amen. Let us turn our Bible to Colossians chapter number one. Thank you, Lord. Colossians chapter number one, 12 and 14. 12 to 14. He said, giving thanks unto the Father which had made us need to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who had delivered us from the power of darkness, and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Hallelujah. Amen. So the Bible said that we should give thanks to God. Why? Because God delivered us. Hallelujah. From the power of darkness and he translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. In this kingdom, we already have redemption. Hallelujah. So that redemption, beloved brother, I don't know how, 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 how far you can think about redemption. Anything that could cost you trouble. God has already redeemed us. Amen. Because they don't mention, you know, some things that redeemed us from. But just a redemption. So, me, I would like to put everything. If you don't have good marriage, God has already redeemed you so that you can have good marriage. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I don't know what I will say now. Is there anything somebody can say if you are poor, well, God has already redeemed so that you can have money? I think it is all right. Hallelujah. Because it is, he said that God, it is the joy of God eh, that we are rich. So poverty cannot be from God, it can only be from the devil. If God will give us power to get wealth, like my brother read, if but, uh, richness is not his uh, is not his plan for his children, why would he give you the power to do that? Hallelujah. He said that I wish above all things that you prosper. So if prosperity is not his mind, why will you wish that you prosper? Glory to God. So he has redeemed us from a lot of things that the devil would have used against us. Hallelujah. And this redemption came. He said through his blood. He delivered us from the oppression of the wicked one. As a child of God, so Satan has no power to dwell inside of us. As a child of God, God is dwelling inside of us. In the mighty name of Jesus. So as a child of God, now that we now understood what the Bible says, or understand what the Bible says, we can rise up by faith and command the Pharaoh of our destiny. To say, Pharaoh, let my people go. Glory to God. We cannot find ourselves in that whole who have I just said that when there is somebody, you have something with your head, even right now. As I just said that there is somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Well, whatever it is, the blood of Jesus can take care of that even right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. You can rise up and let us pray to God. And believe God that whatever the enemy will have used against you, the time has come. For that devil to go. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said that Christ has redeemed us. He has redeemed you from the work of darkness. He has redeemed you from the power of the oppressor. From the power of the wicked. If you want to pray, you stand up and let us pray. thank God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You stand up if you want to pray. Let's pray for Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The person that I, I, I think that I had that issue is just a woman. 
Hallelujah, so that to get it more clearer and, and as a matter of fact, I am sure I know the person who it is. Hallelujah. Father, we glorify your name. Father, we glorify your name. It doesn't matter any other person who has that issue. It doesn't matter what it is. But the power of God is here to break every work of darkness in the name of Jesus. What the Bible says, it says, let us give thanks to God. We need to thank Him right now. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Father, we give you all the glory. 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 